So what do you think? Like Nepalese people are doing well in Denmark? Well, of course, you can always find a few who don't and a yeah, few yeah. who break the rules and so on. But <laughs> overall, I think it's my it's my sincere impression that yes, I mean, and of course here, like we have the discussion about Paka Sukumbasi, yeah. genuine yeah. Sukumbasi. There's a similar discussion about genuine students. Do people really come with a purpose of studying or not? And that has been ongoing in the media and all over politically and so on. I mean, not just with the Nepali students, but with foreign students in general. So that has been an ongoing kind of kind of mistrust or somehow. I mean, against, but. Um, But I followed so many yeah. and interviewed a yeah. lot, and and I mean, of course, I mean, I have no, I I know, of course, that as as, as I said before, there are who combat it, and now of course also some who use it for the purposes, but I think most of those uh, those I've been working with and I've been interviewing and followed, I mean, come for for the genuine purpose of studying, but also of course. With a long-term interest in staying, and there's, and the, or in settling, there's, there's nothing wrong in that. That's having short-term yeah, interest yeah, yeah, and a long-term mm-hmm. interest, which is and, and these things are often, especially in the media, seen as being somewhat contradictory, which they're not necessarily. I mean, you can come and be a sincere student and still hoping to stay on um, in different ways. Yeah. Okay. And tell me about Hari Nupani. Uh, Hari Nupani, he's actively, mm. um, he's very active these days. Mm. Well, he was in the, uh, what is it called, representation, which is the municipality, the, mm-hmm. uh, what would it be, uh, in the, what do we call it, at the municipi- level of municipality, I'm not even sure, but but like the parliament, so to speak, oh, okay, at the, yeah. at the, at the, uh, in, the, in Copenhagen. So he got a seat. There, which is, I mean, I think it's really, really well done. So, yeah. So that's that's a very good role model. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, I of think course, it's Shepko. done very yeah. well, and I think it's so important that actually that people actually engage also in these kind of political and civic fora because that's where, where you can actually be heard. Yeah, he's heard. doing great. We all are proud of yeah. him. Yeah, I'm proud too. Yeah. <laughs> And it's very important to have representatives. Um, yeah, of course. In politics. Mm-hmm. But do you really like the government system or system of Denmark? Mm, do you think the the government system or the government? Because that's okay. I'll give you an example. I don't know a lot, but I only know about some immigration stuff and like mm. people are. Uh, they are throwing people out mm. even they fulfill all the requirements mm. have you heard that oh yeah 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 there are so many cases of this and it's both like people from nepal pakistan whatever yeah, 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 asia yeah. it's from yeah. africa mm-hmm. it's from the states it's it's from a lot of non eu i mean it's all over non i mean all over the world actually people coming from all over the world and it's so rigid And it's just like minor things. It might be that you just submitted your application one day too late, and then the bureaucracy is overruling everything, okay. and it's insane in my pers- perspective. And I think the the immigration rules or the immigration regimes that, as it is at the moment is is really embarrassing in many ways, and I think it's very inhumane, basically, and. One thing is there's this huge debate ongoing, to, and it has been going on for a long time that there's a shortage of um, labor in Denmark. So why not mm-hmm. invite yeah, people yeah. to come to work and make it easier for people to work uh, or to stay uh, here for work? But that's political decisions. And I mean, it has been this very right wing uh, Parties mm-hmm. which have come in, which and they're very xenophobic, and it's particular people from certain parts of the world they're not interested in it, and it's well, it's racist in many ways <laughs> too, and it's very uh, discriminating in many ways. 
So yes, if you ask me, the easy thing would be to invite people to stay, to fill up these positions. Mm -hmm. But there are forces who are working against it, who are not interested in having them here. Yeah, this is the problem. And then there's another thing, which is also, which is more like left-wing parties saying, okay, if there are too many foreign workers taking up work without working on... um, on proper contracts and things like legally, that. Yeah. Legally. Mm-hmm. Well, legally, yes, but without being in unions and all that, okay, then it's yeah. going mm-hmm. to uh, push the the, the, um, the salaries. So they say, okay, okay so the, and, yeah. and, the, and Danish people then... So that means that employers okay. would actually prefer foreigners because they can pay them less. Yeah. And that's not fair to the foreigners who are being paid less yeah. than a Dane. And it's not fair to Danes who have been fighting for I mean been fighting for higher salaries. Yeah. So so that's another thing. So so it's for very different it's for different reasons that the right wing and the left wing are kind of critical. Well, uh, Danish rules are very complicated, I guess. Mm.